and for OBG, first do BTR. It will give an entire idea of the subject as a whole subject. And for sexual development, who feel difficulty for solving the questions of sexual developmental disorder, BTR is the best. Follow the approach given in BTR. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Myself, Dr. Akash, and I have secured a rank of 1912 in NEET PG 2025. I am really grateful to all of you for your overwhelming response. It motivates me to do better work for you guys. So many of you have asked me to make a video on NEET PG 26 preparation strategy, specifically for those who are taking drop. So here I am with a new video. Also, in this video, I will tell you how to integrate BTR with rapid revision or main notes. See, as you all know, I got rank 1912 in NEET PG 25 on third attempt. Many of my friends also got good rank on third attempt. I am not lying at all. One of my friends got a 55k rank on first attempt, 65,000 on second attempt and 7,000 rank on third attempt. Another friend of mine got more than 50,000 rank on first attempt, 40,000 rank on second attempt and around 900 rank in her third attempt. So if they can get, you can also get a decent rank. I have talked to all of them. One thing was common, they didn't go for shortcut in their final attempt they have read their main notes once. It's high time to give a solid start. So watch till the end. I'll share detailed strategy and timeline. For all subjects, you don't need to read main notes. I also didn't read main notes for all subjects. I'll mention where to read main notes and where to read rapid revision. I will also tell name of alternate equivalent resources if you are following other platforms. Before starting, I want to give you a disclaimer that if you are following BTR schedule or TND schedule, of any other platform you can do but whatever I am telling I am telling from my own experience throughout the years and after interviewing my friends who got good ranks in their third attempt whatever I am telling it's my opinion only and what would be best for you according to me I am discussing that only it's gonna be a long video so stay tuned let's start so following the trends of last two years exam will be on most probably June uh, so more than nine months in hand if you want to give this INI, please watch my INI City November strategy and most important topics for INI City video. You can follow that schedule for INI. After INI City, you can start with the NPG schedule. Now for resources, I have already made a video on resources. Watch that before this video. You will get an overview what resources you have to read. Now I have made a schedule of first read which will take around 80 days and deadline is 15 December. So. In this first read, you have to focus on more uh, main notes and order. So start with cardiology, give two days, along with that do pharma cardiovascular. I will tell how to do pharma in the next part. Just remember that along with cardiology, do pharma cardiovascular and uh, along with other systems also do particular pharma topic. Next do surgery, six days, ortho, two days and after that give uh, two BTR TND. You can just watch the BTR video passively. Just uh, attend two BTR TND surgery ortho radio and cover these two video in one day. Next do respiratory in one day along with pharma respiratory topic. Then do anatomy in six days, micro in four days. BTR TND anatomy two video in one day. Next give GT review on the same day. Next I allotted two days for neurology along with that do CNS pharmacology. Next do Dharma in one day, Anastasia one day, then hepatobiliary and GI system do in one day plus do pharma GI topic. Then give six days to PSM and after that attend two BTR TND, Dharma Anastasia PSM and cover these two video in one day. Then give GT on the next day. Now I have given deadline of 15 December to complete this cycle. For those who will give INI November, they should start by 17th November and they should complete this cycle till 7th February. And this is the BTR TND schedule in the first cycle as I have told uh, to do two uh, BTR videos, two BTR TND videos along with this cycle. In the first cycle, do TND 4 and 6. In the second cycle, do 2 and 5. In the third cycle, do 3 and 7. Now, what will be your uh, daily routine of MCU solving during this case? Do custom module of GT based custom module 40 questions at night. No need to do PYQ based custom module at this time. Mainly focus on main note or other notes. Focus on concept at this time. You will get ample of time to do PYQ later. And another advice for those who will be giving INICT in November. Please complete BTRT in this cycle 
3 to 7 at least watch passively next do hematology in one day with pharma hematology then i in four days ent four days rheumatology in one day plus do pharma autocoids give radiology one day and psychiatry two days because some topics of psychiatry are difficult you need to give time do two btr tnd of i and psyche in one day then give a gt review on that day only endocrine in two days with pharma endocrine give obg six days three days to ops and three days to dining pediatrics in three days and uh, two btr tnd video of obg paid in one day then do renal in two days along with general pharma then do pathology in four days physiology in five days and pharma in three days i'll tell how to do pharma in detail just stay with me and then do two btr tnd of integrated system in one day and last give gt number four of this cycle in one day and review that and before giving any gt just review the previous gt okay so if you are starting from september first week please end this first read cycle within 15 december enough time you will get to clear the backlog next what to read from cerebellum app for medicine someone have asked me how to read uh, medicine from cerebellum app because there are so many resources in the app so i have mentioned in this comment how to read and i am just telling you the summary that do cardio hemato gi from older revision video do endocrine from mission video lecture because uh, it's not uploaded in quick revision series and for others do extended quick revision and do neuro well from extended revision it will cover neuro very well and after reading endocrine please summarize the mission note so that next time you don't have to refer to the mission note okay and next is plan for pharmacology i know everyone fears pharma me also but i have made a solution for that i have used this strategy and it helped me a lot do pharma order from prep ladder along with the particular system as i have mentioned in the schedule revise them before reading the next system it will take around one and a half to two hours for each video each system do that in the morning then start your daily work in the allotted duration of the pharma for three days what i have allotted do ns pharma if your concepts are weak you can do main video otherwise you can do from rr video read antimicrobials i will prefer main videos because uh, there are so many information you can get from this main video you should know this and then do anti-cancer module and pharma compile btr you should do after that please take a printout i'll tell you why and also do general pharma btr and after doing all of this take all the extra information from rr and annotate into pharma compile btr that's why i have told you to take printout of pharma compile btr when you revise pharma for the next time you will read this notes only the main planning part just bear with me i will clear completely how to read every subject and for pyq do at least last six years of nipg till 2020 five years of nicet that means 10 paper total and two years of fmg that means four papers now how to read the systems there is eight systems and in beta integrated system module there is eight videos for that along with that there are three videos three, one general pharma one uh, general patho and one general physio i'll tell how to do now first do btr video for one system like take example cardiology then do quick division video from cerebellum then do pyq and custom module use the tag as i have mentioned earlier in one video and don't annotate medicine extra point into btr it will create a mess because Sir, sir's approach is different and ma'am's approach is different. So keep them separate. Next, do surgery from BTR. It will take around 6 hours. After that, do active recall of BTR. Then do PYQ as I have mentioned earlier. Then do marrow order and then do custom module of surgery. It will cover all the niche topics you should need for exam. Next, plan for ortho. Do marrow order or those who are following dams you can do from two search search notes this is also good and then do btr and after that do PYQ and custom module then for microbiology first do prep ladder error and then do micro btr because in micro btr some topics are missing here and there and uh, prep ladder error covers all the topics you need for exam so first do rr then do btr then do pyq and custom module then 
for anatomy, I would suggest do marrow 8.0 main notes because you are reading for the first read. And after that, do PYQ and custom module. Then for uh, dermatology and anesthesia, I will tell that please watch the video I have uploaded in YouTube. Watch that only. And along with that, for derma, do bonus video also because it will cover genodermatosis, which ma'am hasn't covered in BTR 2.0. Then plan for PSM. First do BTR PSM. Then do PYQ. And after that only do prebladder RR. And after that do custom module. And for those who are following dams, they can follow Kashi search main notes. And for biostat and epidemiology, they can refer to Siddharth search notes. They are very good. And next is plan for ophthalmology. For ophthalmology, do from marrow order or main notes. If some topics you feel difficult, I was also weak in ophthal. That's why I am telling. And those who are following dams, you can watch dams main videos. Not LRR, do main videos. They are really good. And after that, do BTR and then do PYQ and custom order. And plan for ENT, first do marrow order. They are sufficient for exam and then do BTR and then do PYQ and custom module. Next, for radio, BTR is enough. Total 6 hour duration video. If you can do, it, you can solve most of the question in exam. After that, do PYQ. If you want to do extra, then you can watch marrow order for extra topic, just skim through the notes. And if you are following dance, then you can do dance LRR for extra information. Then do PYQ. Then do marrow order and selective topics from main videos such as pregnancy induced hypertension, labor, all the videos of labor, CIM and cancer cervix. Or you can refer to one touch OBG second edition. It will cover most of the things you need to know for OBG. This is my one touch OBG book and it's really beautifully illustrated. See, I have highlighted all the important points and it's full of flowcharts. You can follow this book also as alternate of marrow rr and if you are a dance student you can follow dance main notes it's also good then do custom module and for pediatrics first do btr it's really great do pyq of pediatrics then do marrow main video it will cover the small topics also and then do custom module for pathology do path order from prep ladder if you feel some topics are difficult then you can watch main videos for gene and patho only. For systemic patho, you can do patho RR only. And for hematology also, you can watch main video. So for hematology and gene and pathology, you can watch main video if you are feeling less confident for solving MCQ. Then do PYQ, then do general patho section from BTR and then do custom module. For physiology, I would suggest do main video prep ladder. They are really gold mine. After that, solve PYQ and then do general physiology from BTR and last do custom module. This is the entire planning how to read every subject.